Hi there, Casey here for today's recap. And I'm gonna go into some detail today. Uh, this is just a recap of the performance in the live trading room. We, uh, we made $473, we won five out of six trades, but I'm gonna show you a couple things. Number one is I'm gonna show you how I journal, right? Because journaling is really important and reviewing your trades every day is really important, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, I'm also gonna go through my thought process through all of the trades and how I do each one. So it's gonna be a slow recap, but I'm gonna take the time and make sure that I do it right so that uh, you get a full understanding of how things went down. So first of all, let's take a look at the Euro dollar. The Euro dollar was the first trade, and I'm gonna clean this up because, um, why? Because I like it clean. <laughs> all right, so here's the Euro. Uh, we're going to clean it up. So the first thing I want to go through is I start out by coming out with a daily bias. And that's pretty simple, right? You don't have to be super duper duper to figure this out. Look which direction we're going here. We're going down. So you see that we came up and retested the top, which was the previous low right over here. And so when we did that, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for a short. Any time I'm below this level, I'm my bias is short. If we get above that, then that'll change my bias, right? So going into the day, I always have a bias and I come up with a trade plan. And uh, so then I went to a 15 minute time frame, and I have some tools and indicators that, that we use uh, to find the setup. We use, we use trend, support and resistance level. This was the key level right here. Uh, support and resistance, you can see we came right back up. And my entry was somewhere in here, I believe. I believe my entry was somewhere in here. And I don't know because I'm just looking at it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trade. You can see I made $108 on it. And I'm going to drag it onto the chart so I can see where I entered. Um, and yeah, I was right. So again, I was right. Casey Stubbs was right. <laughs> hey, got to be right. Got to celebrate your wins, right? Um, anyways, take a look at this. Uh, so I entered here because this strong bearish candle, right? We came off here, we came off of here. I had it, my downward bias, we came back. So as soon as I got in, unfortunately, it went right back up. But I had placed my stop in a pretty big size, so I had plenty of room. And then we came down. And once we got down, uh, we cracked that level. And so then I just tightened up my stop right and so we popped back and we came back and my trailing stop got hit so yeah there would have been an opportunity for a re-entry in here and here and so we can always look for re-entries i didn't get around to it today uh, i'm trying to hit my daily goal which is about 200 dollars a day i don't always need to get back into multiple trades i'm more interested in being consistent than making a lot of money right i just want to learn to be consistent right so then next 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 we're going to uh, look at the australian yen and so again we're going to clean it up clean up the australian yen and by the way just to um just to let you guys know these are the exact same trades i took yesterday right so yesterday and today were the exact same trades my bias didn't change so sometimes you'll be going with the same bias the same setup the same thing over and over again so euro, I shorted the euro yesterday and I shorted it today. I shorted the Australian yen yesterday and I shorted it today. So again, let's go quick look at the bias on the daily. And uh, here we have a big down move, right? And so what's my bias? How do I come up with my daily bias? Well, this was the level I was looking at, this level right here. And so we came up and we tested it and then it rejected. Right, whenever you see a level reject, that's the best time to trade. So right there. So I went down to a 15 minute time frame and I looked for that rejection to happen. Right? And look what happened. We had it. We got our rejection here. This trend line broke. We came back, we retested it, and we went and we had a big move. So where was my entry? Let's go find out. Let's find out where my entry was. So I'm going to drag it onto the chart. And you can see, there was my entry, we had the break, and I didn't get a lot, right? I got 10, uh, 10 or 11 pips. You know what? I've trailed my stop, and it popped back up, and it got out. So sometimes trailing your stop 
can be a challenge. Uh, trading is choppy and challenging, but I'm just trying to manage my risk and make these trades happen. So uh, that is uh, the Australian yen. Now, on to the next trade. Now, this trade was a real challenge, and I, uh, I took a little more risk than what I wanted to, and so this is where I'm being honest with the review. I'm being honest. You've got to be honest with yourself as a trader. What did you do wrong? What can you do different? So first of all, let's go to the daily and come up with my trade plan. So we have my trade plan, and my initial plan was, uh, oh, we have this key level right here. You see yesterday's high? Yesterday's high was today's resistance. So I drew it in, and I said, I'm looking for a retest. So here's what happened, okay? And what happened was uh, we got a retest a little bit early right in here, and it broke early. So I got in a little bit late, okay? I got in a little bit late. Now, what happened, so I, well, no, 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 I got in a little bit early because I, I got in right here, right here, and I'm going to show you the trade so you'll see. But I got in there, and so then it came in, and we hit, a, we bounced off of this high, and we went lower, and I thought, you know what? I'm still in position, and I had a setup, so I added a position here. So I added one here and one here. And then the third, I actually went ahead and added a third position, position number three. And why? Because we went off of here. We had price action. I'm always looking for price action patterns, so I added a position here. All right, so I added three positions, and it turned around, and I ended up making a profit. So I'm going to drag all three onto the chart. So here's number one, right where I said. Uh, here's number two. And here is number three. All right, so I ended up making quite a bit of um, money on this trade, but the reason I made a mistake was, you know, I should have, and I can play and test with this, but I let it get away from me too far, and then I added two positions, and so I extended my risk, right? I extended my max risk. So had this kept going and had I lost, yes, I won, I won, I made money, yay. Yay me, yay me, I got to celebrate. But look, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how you manage risk, and I just took too much risk on this trade. So when it came down, it came down, and I could have, uh, had I held this even more, I could have made big bank on it, which probably would have been the smarter thing to do, but I'm just looking for my daily goal. I hit my daily goal and I'm moving on. And so now I hit 473 today. I hit 250 yesterday. So now I'm up. Um, let me check real quick to see what I'm up on the week because you just change your detailed report. And uh, so this week we are at uh, $730 this week. So we're at a $730. So yeah, two days in, two winning days. I'm just trying to hit my daily profit and manage risk. So I'm not, I could have hit the home run, but my trading time was done. I'm done. I'm, and I said, I'm up. I'm done. I didn't want to let it go. Sometimes I might let it go. All right. And, and we'll adjust and work and because I'm working on high performance trading. If you want to be a high performance trading, you should check us out. All right. Now, um, gold. Gold is pretty simple. Same thing. Let's check the daily. Daily, what was I looking at? Well, I'm looking at the daily bias was short, so I'm looking for a retest into the zone. I'm looking for a retest into the zone right here. All right, it tested, and then what do we get? We get the 15 minute, and there we have it. Right there, it broke. It looked, there were so many times it looked like it wanted to go up. So many. Uh, but I'm like, oh, look there, look there. And I was almost stopped out. I had my stop loss right here almost stopped out and it came down and came become a nice winning trade so uh right there there it is it was a 45 i put my stop to trail and it came back and i had another chance to get in but i didn't take it because i was done for the day you know i get what i need to get and i'm done i don't, I don't live to trade in front of the screen i trade to live i don't live to trade right so now i want to uh, go over uh the tracking mechanisms and you know for me this is really important and I just put this in so I'm going to drag this here and I'm going to drag the chart out of the way and it's important to 
track your results on a daily basis and just to write things down. So I have some notes here, however I felt about whatever trade I did. So that was yesterday. So we're going to do 927. I have six trades, but you know, you might be, oh man, I'm going to actually watch a dude plug stuff into the spreadsheet. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it quick, but I just think this is so important and a lot of traders just don't do this. So we're going to start with the euro dollar trade. And that one was a um, $108.50. So 108.5 right here. Uh, and so then we just easily copy the fields over, right? And we copy it over. Okay. So now, uh, now we're going to do AUD, JPY. And a lot of those were the same trades from the previous day. And Australian JPY. How much did I make on it? Well, I made $66.82. So we'll say 62.6.82. And we're going to copy that over. Right? Oh. All right. And so um, there we have it. Now we're going to go with Pound New Zealand. And Pound New Zealand is right here uh g p b n z d and i did three of those so we're going to put one two three the first one was this was a big boy this was a big boy three three one point thirteen and then i hit a sixty eight point seventy two and then lastly was an, a loser, my only loser on the day, 135.93. And I could have held that to win, uh, one minus 135.93. I could have held that out for a winner, but I just didn't want to do it because of the time, right? I just, I have a limited amount of time I want to trade every day. And yes, it takes me some time to do this. You can see we're on a, a getting on some length on this video. But then the last one, all right, the last one was gold. And gold, I made a $45.03.03. So um, there we go. And, you know, so my overall review of today was a, I did pretty good. I followed my bias. I followed my rules. The only thing I'm going to write on this, I'm just going to say I over-risked. I risked a little bit too much on the pound New Zealand. Now, did I risk extreme risk? No, it was probably not even over 1%, but I still wanted to keep my risk better. So do a better job with risk come up with action plan. So I'm going to come up with an action plan tomorrow morning when I do my daily uh, review, when I do my quiet time, when I'm sitting before I get to the charts in front of my notebook. I'm just going to be thinking about how to improve my risk management, what I did wrong on that, and I'm going to mentally prepare myself. You know, to be a great trader, we got to be strong, strong mentally, strong physically. We got to work on our mind, spirit, body. We're what you do in trading is going to carry over into real life, and what you do in real life is going to carry over into trading. So you've got to be focusing on high performance. All right, well, that's it for today's recap. You know, if we look at the total results, so far I'm winning 10 winners, one loser. Uh, average win is $88. Average loss is 135 So right there, my risk-to-reward ratio is a little low, but my win percentage is really good. So... Uh, if we keep working on these stats, uh, things will work out really well. But that's just so far this week. All right, thanks. Hope you enjoyed this recap. Let me know if you have any questions.